What is going on everybody? The True Tony here. I know over here at Josh's, I got the ATV in the back, at his house in the back. But I know you're already here for to know what I'm doing, for that matter. You're here to know if this baby's worth it or not. Now, what I have here is this motherfucking all-wheel drive. 1998 Subaru Outback. Has my nice bumper stickers on it, you know. As everybody calls it, the granny tranny car. I try to prove them incorrect by putting in one thing that all people do not have, and it's these babies right here. If I can angle this camera correctly, these motherfucking subs. That's right, and that's 10 inches. If you've never been on this channel before, I have nice two 10 inches subs. But yeah. I've had my Subaru for over here a year now. It's uh, been a good experience. However, a few things. Sorry about the camera. I know uh, it's been a good experience, except for the security system that is just too much. It's <laughs> okay. A little, a little backstory. I got the Subaru last year. See right here. There's a little. There was a rust hole right here. I had to patch it up. I couldn't find the color. No, the color can or. The color paint for that matter for the car so i just went to walmart and got a different type of green because well it's just i'm not it doesn't matter it was my first car i was excited you know i was ready to see it but here as you see it let me put this on what's up here first now here's a nice horn for when, uh, see right here, the nice horn. So if anybody, any cats try and get on your car that you don't want, I'm on your car, and they can just, that can go off and uh, make a big scene. But yeah, there's also the option to change it from front wheel drive to four wheel drive, about 2.5 seconds. You just gotta remove that, which is really nifty because in the summer, I just go from all wheel drive, or when it snows in the summer, go to from four wheel drive, from front wheel drive to four wheel drive. But yeah, I got some fog lights. It's good. It's always a positive, even though when you're driving down the highway and those people, everybody who has fog lights on, it's a uh, you know high beams fog lights. You know what that is? That's a shit I don't like. Uh, but um, yeah, it's a good Subaru. It's definitely worth it to have because in the winter, your these are all-wheel drive comes in handy with anti-lock too. I'm gonna get new tires. They're really bad right now. I know. I'm sorry. But my friend's mom has, or Josh's mom has, her own Subaru too. This is hers is a Forester uh, crossover, I do believe. Yeah, my new car's really dirty. I know. I cleaned it a few days ago. Actually, last week I cleaned it. Um, yeah, this is the outside of the car, the top, the side, the front, the front, the sideways. Pretty good car, but yeah, has its problems. One of the major problems is just muffler, they're exhaust. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a crack in here somewhere. I don't know where though. Oh, right here. Nice crack. So, it's always loud and fun to have. It's always loud and fun to have. I'm gonna apologize for that, but that's the only major problem with my car. So, yeah. Subarus are definitely worth it if you're looking for a car for New England status. That's definitely one to have. Or a Wrangler in the back. I know Josh has a Wrangler. Getting ready, strapped. To go four wheeling a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but here's the interior. It's nice leather seats. We got heat warmers. And then a nice room in the back. For any strangers or hitchhikers or whatever else you want to take with you home. Ready? Yeah, so you definitely buy a Subaru 
especially an Outback or a Forester. WRXs are they're also a beast, but and Subaru in general. But I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, leave a like. If you didn't, leave the video and comment and subscribe. But until my next video, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.